Radio control buggies are a crowd favorite due to their durability and flexibility of off and on road performance. These buggies take a beating from jumps, bumps, and flips. A new buggy design is in the works and it's up to us to engineer a front suspension mount. Weight is always critical in radio control cars and this buggy is no different. We need to keep the weight down while making the shock mount as durable as possible. As is common with any design these days, there has been a tremendous investment in the 3D CAD model for this buggy. As we approach the new design, manpower, time, and money will be invested. So we want to ensure that the new design will be durable and last long enough to provide our customers with a good experience. We could, one, gamble on rules of thumb, best guesses, and put the design into production without testing. Or two, we could invest in a high dollar, time consuming physical prototype. Or three, leverage our CAD data to do more for us. Since we've already invested in this valuable digital asset, let's choose option three and build on the CAD model we already have. Currently, we have a clunky suspension component made from 1060 aluminum that weighs too much. There is a flaw in the design as well. Despite its beefy appearance, this part fails in strength. How can we shed weight, gain strength, and make a long-lasting component? Simulation Standard answers these tough questions and provides insight into our design from start to finish. The design criteria are simple. Maintain a factor of safety of two or higher, weigh as little as possible, and keep the displacement less than 0.01 millimeters while resisting a 40 pound load through the shock mount locations. We see the current design fails two out of the three criteria. Fortunately, making changes and reevaluating is easy as changing configurations. Let's see what path our design changes take. Design is an iterative process. What combination of size, material, and structure will work best? Usually this process is documented with hand-drawn graphs, chicken scratch notes, and papers that fall behind your desk. Not the best way to keep a record of your design. Trend Tracker keeps all of this information for us right inside the simulation study. We can get rid of the paper trail and focus on the design. The initial design has a factor of safety of 1.5, overall stress value of 2,606 psi, and a resultant displacement equaling 0.006 millimeters. Let's try adding a recessed cut to the design to remove weight. Running the study shows similar displacement to the original design, but the stress is still too high, equating in a factor of safety of 1.57. Setting this design point allows us to compare it back to the original through the trend graphs. Maybe adding ribs will reduce the stress. Maybe not. That is the great aspect of simulation. We get immediate feedback and insight that physical prototypes can take days to deliver. Adding the ribs and rerunning the simulation, we can see our mass increased but the displacement and stresses stayed about the same. We may not be making the right design choices. Let's get a little extreme and add cuts to the design, reducing the weight significantly. After running the study, we see the stress and displacement increase. Why? By removing the majority of the material, we reduce the stiffness of the mount. We can see we are trending in the wrong direction for factor safety, stress, and displacement. It may need to refocus our design effort, but we're not beaten yet. Reviewing a design insight plot effectively the structurally important areas of our dark blue, we see that the upper region is dissipating the energy of the load, a key piece of information that can only be provided by simulation. Adding geometry to the top of the mount resolves our issue. Viewing our trend plots, we can see the mass increase slightly, but the stress and displacement decrease. We also meet our minimum factor safety of two. We've met our goals regarding stress, factor safety, and displacement, but durability is still unanswered. The buggy will see abuse day in and day out from radio controlled enthusiasts pushing it to the limit. We want to make sure we do not disappoint. Let's find out how long the design will last. Sure, the design may work once or even twice, but will it perform the 500,000 times that our customers demand? Simulation Standards Fatigue Analysis answers just this question. Solar fatigue can combine multiple loads and loading cycles. This is not something you want to tackle with hand calculations. Simulations fatigue analysis provides feedback for percent damage of life expectancy. The design is predicted to last 535,000 times, meeting our warranty specification. Simulation fatigue analysis offers a peace of mind, being assured that your design will hold up. Typically, a designer or engineer performs complex hand calculations, creates physical prototypes, and usually needs to go back to the drawing board several times during the design process. 
SOLIDWORKS Simulation Standard gives traceability and longevity prediction to your design, proving your design's performance, including stress, displacement, strain, and factor safety. All this feedback is invaluable information to make the right design decisions the first time, reducing costly development. Trend Tracker keeps your design moving in the right direction by documenting key analysis information in each design iteration. And fatigue gets you to market faster, reducing the time required for endurance testing. Feeling confident in our design, the next step is to submit it to management for their approval. An easy task with SOLIDWORKS PDM Pro's workflows and alerts. We met and exceeded our design requirements, providing a long-lasting, strong, but lightweight strut mount. If you want more insight into your design, check out more simulation and training information at CATI.com.